Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. This is Jeremiah's J Man Manero with J Man Speaks coming to you pre recorded. That's right. We're doing a tech tip here about how to do a virtual background. Third time's a charm. First time we had an issue with BeLive.tv. Second time we had an issue with Zoom streaming to Facebook. And then the Zoom recording didn't convert properly. properly. And so now we're using uh, Screencastify, which never has a problem. And I don't know why I didn't start with that to begin with. So here is today's tech tip, how to do a virtual background video or image and how to install it on your Zoom. Okay, so we're gonna go into Canva, right? And I'm gonna go in here and create a Canva account if you don't already have one, I shouldn't have to teach you how to do that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is do a search for Canva, Zoom virtual background. Zoom virtual background, here is what we do. Here is how we do it. Okay, so it's gonna give us some templates, search templates. Uh, mm, 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 mm. See all, and what I have here actually is a blank canvas, okay? And what I'll do is, first thing we're gonna teach you is how to make a video background. And so you can, you could go out and film video if you wanted to, film video, I love that. Record video, uh, just keep it short, keep it under 15 seconds, 20 seconds, because what Zoom will do is just, it'll loop it in the background. Uh, you don't necessarily wanna do scanning shots. What I would do is keep your, your video shot stationary. You can have other things moving in the background. I guess that would be okay. I saw somebody the other day that had, they were in a coffee shop, was the background, there was people moving. You know, and it was kind of cool, right? It's just different. But I'll show you a couple of examples. I got these videos from videoblocks.com. It's a subscription that I, I have where I can get B-roll, which is just little clips of video for free, copyright free, no issues whatsoever. So the first one I'm gonna show you is, I'm gonna show you the subway. Now let me show you this techie one, I like this one here. Okay, so it has like a techie kind of matrix feel to it. I'm gonna go like this, I'm gonna make sure it's the correct size, which means fill. And if you go like that, it's gonna put it right in the middle. See how it has the pink? Tells me where the halfway point is both ways, direct center. Oh yeah, that is my techie background. I don't think I've downloaded this one yet, so I'm gonna actually probably keep this. Now that's not all I want you to be able to brand it. So whatever your brand is, whether you're doing this for real estate, you're doing this for speaking, you're doing it for fun, go in and create a logo for yourself and throw that in the corner. Um, another quick tip, you can go to cooltext.com, cooltext, C-O-O-L, T E X T and create an easy logo. It just it's different fonts, is all it is. Nothing too extravagant. All right, so I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna say oh, I want to do J Man seminars in the corner. Oh, you see that Antonio TV? I created that with cool text for my son's YouTube channel. Well, hold on, I gotta scroll down. I'm gonna find the logo that I'm looking for in just a moment. First, let me do this. This is gonna be my signature edition. Bam, see that? You know, like them, we'll throw that in the corner. Just like that, and then what we're gonna do, the J-Man Seminars. Bada bing, okay, there's that logo. Go like this, and I'll bring that up to the upper left. Okay, keep in mind you don't really wanna put anything like in the middle, cause like this here is gonna be where your your head is, your body is. So anything you put there is probably gonna get blocked. Um, I'm gonna go up like that. That tells me that they're lined up all the way to the corner. Uh, if I had more time, I'd probably put like a, a white rectangle behind my signature, but I don't need to. It doesn't matter to me right now. And then what I'll do is I'm going to download this. You don't have to publish it, just hit download. Uh, make sure you name it. I'm going to call it Techie Zoom Zoom Background. Okay. Then I'm going to go like this and go 
download and make sure you hit download video because what it does is it downloads an mp4 which you can then upload into the canva okay one moment please while our magic virtual background is created i'm gonna grab some coffee while i wait mm -hmm. coffee's for closers okay that one's complete so that was a video background just repeat that for as many video backgrounds as you want to do Sometimes they look really great here in Canva. When I upload them to Zoom, they look like poop. And, and I'll just delete them. All right, so here I'm going to do what I want to do here. Hmm. I'm going to do this background here. I'll go back to the home. Imagine like we're starting from the beginning again. I'm going to go Zoom virtual. Okay, all that does really is set the dimensions. It's 1280 by 720. I'm gonna pick that blank one again. And then this time, boys and girls, I'm gonna go to uploads. These are all images that I've already uploaded a while ago. I'm gonna use this one that I saw here in a moment. Oh, I wonder if I should use the Rockstar one. Nah, not yet. I don't think I liked that one before. Okay, where's the one that I want? Okay, here we go. I'll try this one. Just do it. Hold on. Okay. And I'm gonna bring that back like that. And then if you're an instructor, you're doing a class, you could even add like, here's a banner that I had uploaded from a marketing piece that I did. I could throw that in the corner. Boom, what's up, yo? Yeah. And then we're gonna add J-Man Seminars. Where are we at? Actually, maybe I'll do this here. Like that, make that a little smaller, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, I'm gonna do the J Man seminars, and then I'm gonna do my signature. Okay, I'm gonna go like this over in this corner, and in this corner, we have J Man seminars logo, and in this corner, we have J Man seminars signature you would call this the signature edition <laughs> well that's how you resize it up see i hate how that because that's a transparent logo so i gotta come in here and grab my white background logo okay a little better a little better come back over here okay i'm gonna make this smaller so that they are Symmetrical. Boom. See, the pink line tells me. For the pink line tells me so. All right. What else we got to do here? Make this a little bigger. There we go. All right. So that's kind of done. And I'm just going to go. I got to name it. Just do it. background so you name it whatever you want so you know what it is when you're looking through your documents PNG download that bad boy yeah all right so we've done our virtual backgrounds we are now gonna make our way over to the zoom all I want to do is in my zoom 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 in a room room bam yo what's up people I'm wondering if this is recording now though that's what's weird is the picture in the picture or not let's find out all right so we're gonna try to do this and see if it works hold on good afternoon welcome back uh, i just had to double check to make sure that i was recording the zoom while i was doing the demonstration 
And here's just another tech tip. Screencastify is what I use to record my screen. Screencastify, it makes sense for you to upgrade to Pro because they will automatically upload it to your Google Drive where I have unlimited storage. Okay, okay, let's go back to Zoom. So I'm here in the Zoom, I have a virtual background already. If you come in here, see where it says stop video, you're gonna go like this, hit the arrow up. If you don't have this option here, this says choose virtual background. You wanna go into your video settings. Make sure you go here where it says virtual background and that is checked. Okay, it's under general, I think. Um, video, now I'll check your settings. Okay, it's somewhere in there. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is right here, I'm gonna go add image or video. So the first one that we did is a video. I'm gonna add it there. The techie zoom background, remember? Do that right there. Oh shoot, let's see what it looks like. Good afternoon, good afternoon everybody. You can see how without a green screen, this looks not as crisp, okay? Uh, green screen and some better lighting and that wouldn't happen. But this is using a virtual background without uh, a green screen. You may not have that capability if you do not have a device that is strong enough to do that, in which case go get a green screen. We'll do another video on that, but you have enough Google uh, where you can, you have enough Google. <laughs> There's enough on Google for you to find the answers to that, okay? So I, I'm probably never going to use, I'll keep it for now anyways, see what it looks like when I have the green screen up. I'm in my office and then I have my studio right next door. But then I can come in here and also add the image one. Remember we did that second one that was also an image. Just do it, zoom background, let's see what it looks like. Oh, oh, what's up? You could do it, put your back into it. You could do it, Jay. Oh, I don't know. That's kind of funny. I like it. I might use it. I might use it. I might use it. Okay, so that's it. That's how to do your virtual backgrounds. If you want to switch from them or you want to go in here and see if you ever want to delete them, you just exit out. Let's see. I'm going to delete one of these because these are the same. I'll delete this one. Boom. That one's gone. And I'll delete this one. Boom. That one's gone. I don't know if there's a if there is a max, but if there is, start deleting stuff, okay? Um, if you have a green screen, you're gonna click that, and then you it's gonna ask you what color of that green screen. Typically, it'll detect it if it's all green. Uh, if you don't have it, do that. If you want it to mirror the video behind you, you go like that, but with virtual backgrounds, it's not gonna work. You don't want that, okay? That's it for now, Jeremiah's J Man Monero. Hopefully, you enjoyed our latest tech tip of how to do your Zoom virtual backgrounds. Hey, and keep in mind, you can use these virtual backgrounds for anything that you're doing where you can use a virtual background. So if you're using a green screen in another program and it's asking for a background uh, image, you can use an image or a video just the same as you could with Zoom. Okay, Jeremiah's J-Man Monero, J-Man Speaks, make it a great day.